Hey guys, what is up? This is Joggy. I'll give you another Pokemon Showdown. So I haven't done this in a while, and I'm probably not going to do these all the time. But once I get a really, really good gameplay that is pretty damn close, I will give it to you. So this is against... Uh, br I don't want to say it because it's kind of disturbing. But let's get on to it. So, like I said, this is against... <laughs> you see it on the side. You see it on the side. I don't want to say it. It's kind of disturbing, but let's get started. So, I send out my Bray Loom. He goes for the rain dance, and I get my toxic off because of my poison heal. He goes for the ice beam and gets pretty good damn damage off of me. I go for the spore so he can go to sleep. Go to sleep. And I get some health back from my Breloom. So he goes ahead and goes into his Unpheasant. I go for my Substitute, uh, predicting a switch and seeing what he would go into. So uh, that was pretty good on my part. I should have went for the uh, Focus Punch, but I didn't. I went for the Rock Tomb. Focus Punch would have done a lot more damage. Um, but that Speed Drop does kind of help, I think. So... Yeah, then I go ahead and switch out and go into my armadillo. Armadillo? Armadillo? So he goes, uh, I think I go for a stone edge, right? I think I have stone edge. Or I was uh, messing with him. Yeah, I think I was messing with him because I didn't have stone edge. So I just went for the stealth rock. And then I go for the knockoff so I could get stuff off. But then he gets, he wakes up right after that. And then he goes for the waterfall, I think. I don't know. But it sucks because he actually woke up like right the next turn. I never get I never get long sleeps for me, but when it's the other way around, I always get screwed. So I go for the retaliate so I can knock out this seeking really fast, and then I go ahead and switch out because I think he goes into his semi toad. Yep, he goes into his semi toad. I go and switch out and go into my uh Scolipede, yeah, that's I knew I knew its name. I knew its name. He goes for the stealth rock because he predicted the switch. I go for a mega horn. Uh, does about thirty five percent. He goes for a hot surf. Does a lot of damage to me. Uh, I go for another mega mega horn so I can get as much damage on him as I can. He goes down to fifteen percent. Uh, I go ahead and get knocked out. He goes down to five percent because of his life orb. I go into my uh, slacking so I can just knock this thing out right straight up. He switches out for some reason like an idiot. Uh, I go for Earthquake, predicting the switch just in case, and he does actually switch out, which was kind of stupid of him. Uh, I think he was expecting to retaliate, so he wanted to have as much... Uh, uh, health on his Pokemon as possible. I don't know. I don't know. He maybe he wanted to use that just in case. Uh, but I go ahead and switch out, go into my Pangoro. Pangoro. I don't. I don't know a lot of these guys' names very well. So he goes for the protect, and obviously I predicted that because he lead seed my Pokemon before then. I go for the circle throw, uh, but he actually switches into a semi toad for fodder, so he can see what I was gonna use. Uh, he goes into his unpheasant, and then I go ahead and switch out, go into my Breloom. Yeah, I go into my Breloom for fodder, so he can just knock it out, and then I can go right into my Slack King and go for the retaliate. Um, uh, sorry, it's going slow. It's kind of derpy. Uh, but yeah, I'm at three as four Pokemon. I go into my Sand Slash. I thought I went into my, uh, what you call it. I guess so, whatever. He goes for the U-turn. Uh, I think I go for X Scissors or something. I don't remember. I think I go for Earthquake. Oh no, I go for the knockoff, and it does about 42%, and I knock off the red card. I wish I would have hit him with an earthquake or something, so he would have got the red card off of me, and then I could have gone into my slacking, and then I would have knocked out this Excelsior or whatever pretty fast, and uh, I wouldn't have been, it would have been, it wouldn't have been this close, uh, but it does get really damn close, and you'll see why in a second, because uh, you can tell by the bottom he has... A really, really decent team, and it seems like he should have won, but he, yeah. So he goes for the spikes, uh, predicting the switch. I go for the circle throw. Um, he goes for the protect. I go for the circle throw. Um, I think he switches out right. He goes into his um, unpheasant, or no, he goes for the lead seed. I don't know why he went for the lead seed. I would have switched out, but he went for the lead seed, and... Uh, Got the lead seed off of me, and then he goes into his unpheasant, and that goes to buy 
5%, so he's at 37%. I go into my slacking, and he goes for the pluck, which doesn't quite knock me out, which I was like, wow, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy insane right there. So I go for the pursuit because I expected him to switch out, and he does. <laughs> I'm like, yes, awesome predicting. So he go. Uh, I just let my slacking get killed here because I didn't want him to go for a focus blast and knock out my pan grow. Um, so I was like thinking this is gonna be game here because he has he has dark cry and an unpheasant that's gonna die if I actually get a move off. So I go for the circle throw. He goes for the focus blast, hits me. I live with one percent health, and I go for the circle throw, knock out his dark cry. He goes back into his unpheasant, but it's knocked out by the stealth rocks, and that was good game. So thank you for battle me. <laughs> Uh, that was really, really close. I, oh man, that was like, it wasn't like one of those ones that like, I should have lost, but it was one of the ones that was pretty decently close, and it was pretty awesome. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, later.